Hey everyone. Welcome, welcome. Hello there. Hello there. Game nice and big for you all. There we go. It's about middle. All right. Here we are. There's a hidden wolf. Oh, Wellsy. Got it. Wellsy's hanging out in, in chat. That makes sense. Um, welcome. We are doing our next Momodora playthrough. Because, you know, beating the game on insane mode wasn't enough for me. I had to make it harder for myself. So we are working on getting two achievements at once. We are getting the pacifistic achievement, which means we cannot kill a common enemy. If we accidentally kill a common enemy, we need to reload a save. And we cannot die, which is a different achievement. If we die once, we need to reload a save. It's gonna be interesting. Now, here's the nice thing. It's not difficulty level. So we can play on easy and we're gonna. Because the thing about pacifist is you can't get money as easily, which means you can't buy items. And the only way to get items is perfecting the boss. But we basically only get one boss. We only get one shot at the boss because we can't just sacrifice ourselves like we did in the other playthrough. So we're going to go on easy. And no Elsie. I will let you know, the only difference between normal and easy is easy gives you a little bit more health and two starter items. Everything else is the same. All right, we are back at it. Good old fashioned. Game jet. I'm afraid this is as far as I can take you. I'm sorry. Anything close to the city is too dangerous. Surely, that shouldn't be a problem for a priestess like you. Fighting using a leaf must be difficult. But I have faith in your ability to seal the curse away. It has spread to your land too, after all. <laughs> We're not gonna curse. For now, maybe. For now, maybe the best you can do is seek an audience with our queen. Alright. <clears throat> so to equipment so these are the two items we get uh by for playing on easy so the first one is the metal of equivalence which slowly restores our hp um the other one is the adorned ring which increases iframes and defense which will be nice for getting um perfect killing bosses um and both of those are actually references to an older game And you can see how fat our health bar is. But everything else should be the same. Oh, maybe not. Maybe there's not as many enemies on easy. I thought there were. Or maybe there's extra enemies on insane. That's probably it. But yeah, as you can see, we deal the same amount of damage we used to. It takes a bajillion fucking shots to kill anything. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? I forgot I can't kill enemies. I'm a fucking dumbass. I was like, yay, Momodora time, and completely forgot I'm going pacifistic. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Anyway, chests don't count as enemies, thank you. And this is going to be our only source of money, is finding chests. Well, now you guys see how much damage I do. Um, I clearly was doing that intentionally to give you guys an example. Also... Um... So, specifically targeted attack. You know how I told you 
that my viewer count isn't working on the Twitch dashboard. Well, today, Stream Elements decided, uh, hey, fuck you. Um, and now I don't get viewer count in OBS either. So, I guess I was never meant to know how many people are watching me. It's a number. I wish there was a way to toggle, like, um, you know, here's how, um, here's, like, how much, um, fucking words, please work with me. Uh, like, achievement completion. Like, I wish I could be like, hey, this is the achievement I'm going for, let me know if I fuck up. Hitman has that, which is really nice, but no one else. bother going after extra hearts? I'm wondering if it's even worth it. I mean, this one is, because it's stupid. Boing! Let me pass. Go. Yeah, they add a decent bit in this. Um, so I think it's worth it. Fucking open! God damn. There we go. But yeah, we'll see how difficult this actually ends up being. I have no idea how many stream parts it's going to take, because honestly, I can't judge it. Like, insane mode was pretty easy, because it was like, oh yeah, this is going to be insane. Oh wait. There's a best not drink here. That's... Oh, that's so bad, Well, see. That's so bad. We'll see how difficult. Oh. I hate it. I hate that I kind of like it. Fuck off, imps. God, I'm not looking forward to platforming in the final area. It's going to be such a pain in the ass. Oh, wait, we don't need to go over here. We just need to go over. All my insane mode training has built up to this. Alright, now for the first boss fight. Which, if we can kill her without getting hit, that will make future boss fights, it, boss fights so much easier. Like, that's the thing, is I'm still trying to perfect these boss fights, but now it's harder because I don't have any items I can buy. Well, so much for perfect. Oh, we only get one shot. Honestly, the boss we absolutely need to perfect is the fire boss. Alright, first boss down. Nope, I'm not going to reload my save if I fuck up a boss fight. Only if I legitimately die. 
I feel like constantly reloading a save just because I fucked up a perfect boss fight is not within the spirit of what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. No. No. I'm not gonna bother buying any of those. We need to save our money for when it really matters. I'm a dumbass. I get in the mindset of playing Momodora and I go to kill things. Not killing things are is hard. Chat, please fucking keep an eye on me. If I kill something, let me know. Well, that isn't a boss. Like, the bosses you have to kill to progress. There's there's no, no way around it. Um, anything that isn't a boss. Bing. God, getting the bellflower upgrades is going to be very important. Since we're going to have to heal so much. Okay, let's save. At least I know where I'm going this time. There we are. Some extra bellflower. And into a boss fight. This one I would like to perfect. I perfected it the first time on insane. Oh, so please. Then again, I had poison when I did that. Oh, Mocha's a bitch without poison. Thankfully, Mocha only has to get down to half health. Because Mocha's not actually the boss fight. And then we get to slap around some titties. Okay, now we wait. I do love this boss fight because it's like, oh, look at this easy dude. And then... Boom. You get put in an actual challenging fight. Oh my god. Please stop. Look, zombie titties or not, I'm a smash. There we go. I mean, look at those titties. They're fucking awesome. What does she even give you as her perfect drop? I don't remember. Damn it, we took damage. What are you talking about? I said I would smash you. Also, I haven't done my smasher pass yet. I'm saving that for debut. There we go. Second boss down. Okay, go over here for map completion, because why not? All right, now back to no kill. All right, talk to her so she'll go help us later. Um, let's go. Up for 
first? I always forget. Uh, this guy we have to kill. This is another, um... He's not a boss, but he is a boss. Like, he doesn't have his own health bar, but basically whenever those red lines appear, that means this is a, someone we need to kill. Not that he's difficult. Dialogue. Not that I think it actually matters. I don't know. I think there's a chest up here. There is. Beautiful. Goodbye, friend. I think we need to get to 500 for the item I want. Like, the really good item. Um, But I could be wrong. Grab the bug. Should look up what the ivory bug items are. Okay, boxes don't count as enemies, thankfully. Excuse me. Wait, is it kill or deal damage? Because I just shot that guy in the face. Hold on, I need to read the achievement guide. Hold on. Okay, it's kill. So even though we accidentally shot that guy once, it's fine because it doesn't count. Basically. Oh, these guys are so fucking annoying. Excuse me. All right, off we go to the monastery. Dialogue. Hello, goodbye. I'm not gonna bother speaking to any of you because I don't want to make a donation. I don't have money to spare. I am poor. All right, let's head up. And let's go fight Fennel. What do we need? Need to speak to someone to fight Fennel? Maybe. I didn't come over here during my um insane mode stream because I didn't really need to because I didn't need the taint of missive or the money but it's really useful here so temporarily increase attack by 100% at the cost of HP so that's going to be very useful when we get into boss fights Correctly, isn't there like bug? No. Okay. Thought there was an ivory bug there, but I guess not. Okay. Goodbye, friends. Yeah, basically, I didn't want to fuck. All right, time to restart the game. 
I hit quit instead of return to title screen. Normally I can return to title screen, but I hit quit on accident. Okay, back to here. Let's go to Paint of Missive again and not fall in a fucking pit this time. <gasps> raid! Hi, Yang! Thank you for the raid! Welcome, everyone! Damn, fucking quickest shout out in the West. Welcome, welcome! Now it's your turn. Oh, wow. That is awesome. What were you playing? Let's see here. Last playing art. Oh, that. Fuck, I was too distracted. Oh, no. Who was drawing? That's awesome. So, welcome, everyone. Uh, what we are doing here is we are playing Momodora Reverie Under the Moonlight. We are getting both the pacifist achievement and the not dying achievement. Uh, no, no, we, we load a save because that's what Twitter voted on. Oh yeah, she is adorable, especially when she gets cat form. But yeah, so the only things we can fight are bosses and mini bosses. So everyone else, we basically have to run past. And pray we don't die. Because if we die, we have to load a save. Excuse me. It'll get a lot easier once we have dash. Excuse me, I only want your item. I do not want to deal with you. So you do become monster girl? I mean, yeah, you become a cat in this game. Smash that bell for all that Mooney. Yeah, so this playthrough has a lot of issues, mostly in the fact that uh, you need to kill enemies to get money to buy upgrades to make boss fights easier. Uh, we can't do that. Oh, that's right. I need to drop down through up here. Hi, friend. Um, can I just, like, ooh, ooh, walk by without falling into the spikes? Okay, we're good. We're good. Hi, Yang. All right, let's go save, and then... Uh, we do not turn into a slime girl. There's actually no slime girls in this game. I feel like there should be. Wee. I'll see redeemed. Hydrate. Okay. No worries, Drac. Thank you for showing up. All right, Cinder Chambers. Let's head to our next boss. Hey, thank you for the follow. Of the other game. You must be. But yeah, we actually had completed a playthrough of this on Insane Difficulty, which is all on uh, my YouTube channel. The archive link is down below. Too big of a notification. Should probably make it smaller. Maybe for, like, my just talking things. Uh, nope, that's not what we need. That's not what we need. Okay, you are useless, friend. I mean, I know it covers a lot, but, like, it happens once or twice a stream. <laughs> uh, I think we can go over and down to get to the boss. Yes. Yes, we can. Uh, 
I mean, if it starts happening, like, super often, um, I'll, I'll do something about it, but for now, it's fine. And here comes boss fight, where we get to fight Fire Mommy. She's not Fire Mommy. She is. All right, now, if we can perfect this fight, we get the flame item, uh, which is gonna be so fucking key into winning this game or into making this game easier oh fuck you fuck you fuck we got hit you cannot force death that is not allowed oh we got hit and we're not safe scumming bosses so there's nothing i can do about that I will reject your thing, and your points will be refunded in a second. Well, in that case, let's just fuck this bitch up. Yeah, hit me all you want. I don't care. I've got health for days. Ooh. Eat a bellflower. Which are actually real things. I found out a bellflower is actually a root in South Korea. Um, my roommate who just came back from South Korea um, brought me these like consumable. Uh, they're like little tubes that you just kind of squeeze down and they are amazing for like throat hurting and stuff. And it's just like bellflower and honey. Thank you, Kylan. I hope I pronounced that right. Yes, yes. First time seeing a sacred leaf in action, blah, blah, blah. You want to kill the queen. I understand. I, I read through all of the dialogue in my last playthrough, so I'm just kind of skipping it right now. Silent. Okay. Silent. Hopefully that's correct. Save. Let us get the in-air dash. Easily the most fucking important item in this game. God, it makes stuff so much easier. Boo! 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 I love it. Also, spikes are like instant death in this, this game. I'm sorry, ma'am. I cannot attack you. Uh, can I go through here? Yes. I had to think about if I needed to kill someone to get to this heart, but I don't. All right, take me back up. Take me back up, please. Is there an item over here? There is, that's right. What item is it? Oh, the cinder key, we need that. Hey, thank you for the follow, Annie. I forgot about the cinder key being over here. Eat. God, I feel like I could speed run this game now that I played through it on insane. You have to learn every little thing in insane mode. It's ridiculous. Uh, there's the spider up there. We don't need you. Hi, excuse me, mister. But yeah, pacifistic playthrough is, uh, is tough. To say the least. I've already accidentally killed two enemies and had to reload saves. So, you know, that's great. Thankfully, our health bar is already, like, half the fucking screen. So that's awesome. That'll make the fucking late game bosses a lot easier. You know what? I think, um, I think I'll kill Archpriestess Choir first. So that way you all can see the true ending. Because we got the shitty ending when we did the insane mode. 
Um, I'll show you guys the good ending this playthrough. The good ending is a lot uh, more satisfying. Wow, we're already in White Leaf. I mean, we've only killed one out of the four main bosses, but still. Uh, do I want to go right? It is right. Can I dash through you? I can! Useful. Oh, okay, it's the Vitality Fragment. Sure, we'll grab this. Oh, we can't destroy that yet. Got it, got it. We gotta come back through the other way. Fuck. That's a reloaded save. Fell into the spikes. Uh, okay. We're back here. All right, tell you what. I'm gonna really quickly take a beer right back. And then when I... <laughs> Me and Yang be right backing the same exact time. Sounds good, Yang. Uh, and then when I get back, we'll, you know, continue. So see y'all in a sec. Alright, 
Let's continue on with the show. Alright, peek in this room, then leave. Oh, that's right, we haven't disabled the traps yet, because we had to load a save. Ooh, that was almost close. That was almost another insta-death. All right, we should still have the cinder key on us. I'm pretty sure I saved after getting the cinder key. Yeah, okay. Good. All right, that shuts off all the traps. But now we can just head back up. And now that I know there's really no point going to uh, Whiteleaf Park because that door is shut, we're going to not even bother going that direction. We got to go to Whiteleaf Park later on. I think that's after the subterranean grave. Yes, perfect. All right, now we climb the infinity ladder. Up and up it goes. I When I learned this was a reference to something else, I appreciated it much more. When I played through this the first time, years ago, I was like... What an asshole. <laughs> Who puts a one minute ladder in their fucking game? Oh, but once I learned more, I was like, okay, that makes sense. Also, if you guys have any questions about the game, let me know, because I know I'm skipping over all of the dialogue, but this is legit my favorite game. I can tell you basically anything about it. Wait, uh, do I have to go here and talk to her? I think I might. Oh, yeah, I have to go here. Uh, you have the fairy tear, which I do not give a shit about in the slightest. It's the dev door. Boing, boing, boing. God, this room killed me so many times when I was doing insane mode. Excuse me. Oh, fuck. There we go. Okay, made it through. Uh, is this the dev door? Yes, it is. So we don't need to go through there. Excuse me. And then best NPC. I love her so much. I wish she had more to do with the story, but her whole identity is shrouded in mystery. Look at that. Look at that evil fucking laugh. Oh. Yes. That's right. She gave it she gives us the monastery key. Now we can go fight Fennel. My favorite boss fight. Quite literally. I love the Fennel boss fight to death. It is the best boss fight in any fucking game, and you cannot change my mind on that. Fennel is such a good character. I love her so much. All right. Uh, what's the button for... Oh, we never equipped it, the Taint of Missive, that's why. There it is, okay. I was pressing the right button, I was just confused why it didn't work. Hydrate! Hydrating. Thank you for the hydrate. Hydrate. 
All right. Bitch. Fuck, I can't make that jump. I thought I could make that dash. The title screen. Tech, you don't have water? Actually, I, I mean, I do have water, but I'm drinking sweet tea right now. I got sweet tea with dinner, so very much enjoy it. All right. Back here, equip Taint of Missive, do a fresh save, so that way we have the Taint of Missive if we fuck up again. Also, chat, like I said, this is a pacifistic game mode. We can't kill common enemies. If you see me kill a common enemy, let me fucking know so I can quit out of the game. I don't think it's going to happen again, but it's already happened twice. So you never know. Am I supposed to have the cat sphere by now? I think I just normally do this boss fight last, but there's no reason to. All right, here it is best boss fight in the game. Actually, I'm going to read... I wasn't going to read dialogue. I'm going to read her dialogue because I love her. The queen destroyed this kingdom's faith. This covenant. Our abode. It's all that's left for those who pray. Maiden in white, you are not one of us. Perhaps you are siding with the queen. Look at what she's done to this kingdom. It is my duty to expurge that evil. And now we are straight into the fight with Pardoner Fennel. Fuck you and your sword buff. I got a buff too, punk. Oh, you punk. I forgot she can curse you. When you're cursed, you can't use items. And I think you take more damage, but I could be wrong. What? You did a lot of damage. Return to title screen. Uh, why did she do so much damage? Wait, did I misread Taint of Missive? No, I didn't. Huh, why did she do so much damage? I am confused. Maybe I just never let her get this far, because by the time I fought her this far on, um... On, um, insane mode, I had a bunch of items, like the Baku blocks that we can't afford. Now her shit has curse. Okay, can the curse fucking end? I know curse doesn't last forever. Please, oh thank god. Like... I've killed her perfectly before, I just don't want to do it again. That was enough of a headache the first time. There we go. Hi, my lord. And Fennel has been dealt with. That is two bosses down already. I mean, two main bosses down as well.
Because there are other bosses we have already defeated. Such as the centipede girl and the fire girl and etc. Or no, the fire girl gives a crest. Either way, we're two crests in. That's pretty fucking good. All right. That area is cleared. Now we must head to the underwater area. because I don't have the box of air yet. Uh, yep. Now we just go straight down. To the underwater area. That chest is a lie. Now we go underground. Yes, yes. Reduce yourself, Kaho. Priestess of Lun, fighting with the sacred leaf. All right. Subterranean grave. You have the item I'm after. Uh, no. No. Although the clarity shard's very useful in this area, but we were fine without it. We'll be fine without it this time. Oh, sorry, friend, but you uh, cannot be safe. we cannot. And there is no sense going to that chest because that chest is, I mean, it's not full of lies, but it's full of death. Uh, that way is the way. All right. As much money as we could. Also, like, unlike enemies that respawn, chests do not. So, yeah, every cent we get from a chest helps us later on. Every cent we miss is fucking gone forever. Phased right through her. Beautiful. Uh, what's down? There's a secret here, right? Is it a cat sphere? Oh, there it is. I don't have all the secrets memorized. I'm not that much of a nerd. The bat fucked me! No! Oh, I'm so glad we're not restarting the game every time. That would suck. To fucking have a death like that.
I can't believe the bat fucking like Oh, it stood right where we were going. Ow. Now let's pick that health orb back up. Because the more we have for that final boss, the better we'll be. Especially because we're going to fight uh, fire. Okay. Oh, I guess I just need to slow down until that bat shows up. Because that bat has fucked us twice now. Here I am rushing through the game and the bat's like, nah, fam, slow the fuck down. You're gonna make this a single stream. Fuck. I missed the jump. Oh, and I spawn. Actually, you know what? Let's just despawn her. There we go. Alright, third time's the charm, am I right? Grab that heart. Up the ladder, and over we go. Now I'm gonna wait a second. Let's see that fucking bat. I tried to jump over the bat and it didn't go well. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. We can do this. We can do. Third time was not the, the, the time, but four has um four. What are good things people say about four? That's like the minimum needed for a lot of board games, so that's pretty good. go onto this first platform and we fucking chill. We chill, bat, leave me the fuck alone, and now we move forward. See, that wasn't so hard, me. Uh, you are in such a bad position. How the fuck am I supposed to get through you to the other side? There we go. You throw a bomb at me, friend. Uh, a little closer. A little closer. Thank you. I love knowing secrets. Okay. Now, supposedly, this next boss... Oh, this is going to be a bitch, because we're going to... Oh, okay. It's another boss, but we have to dodge that cat girl's uh, daggers, because, see, she's going to start throwing them at us while we fight this boss. That's going to be so shitty. But we can't kill her. We can't die in this boss fight, or else we have to fucking restart the boss fight. Oh, my God. He is making things immensely difficult. Oh my god, please stop. You are worse than the fucking boss. Because I can't do anything about you. She'll die in like three hits, too. Uh, the, the minions this guy's about to spawn are safe to kill. I can kill those doggos, I just can't kill her. As I can hit her, 
but if she dies, that's a restart. two fucking bosses at once. Damn it, he despawned. Or not despawned, but did his thing. Bitch, get over here. I ain't done talking with you. We killed her on accident. Unfortunately, this is our only way forward right now. We can't go buy any items because none of the shops we need are unlocked yet. All the good items, like the heavy arrows, Baku blocks, etc. No, I really don't want to kill her. I want to get this boss done with. This is my least favorite boss in the entire game. I love this game to death. Fuck this boss. Even without this fucking cat girl sitting here, this boss sucks. Minion bosses are so annoying. Accidentally hit her once, so she's now at lower health. is unfortunately one hit from dead. So we need to be careful. Okay, she's too close to hit this guy. How's a charm shot doing this bitch? Maybe we just... No, that didn't do that much. I was thinking maybe the, the play here is to do a charge shot to the face, but that did not do as much as I was hoping for. Slow and steady. Slow and steady wins. Fuck your beam. And I have some... Girl, stop. I love you. I don't want to kill you. Please stop throwing your fucking staff at me. Oh, thank God. He is dead. Fucking finally. Oh, now we just need to run away from her. Okay. Third boss down. Now... It's cat time, right? When do we get cat suit? Thought it was right here. Maybe it's as we're leaving here. Uh, bum 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 bum. All that's done. I did not want to talk to you. You have nothing I want to buy. Alright, back to Karst 
city. Water here is death. You need to be very careful. It's not like instant death, you fall slow. Why did I come over here? Oh, I forgot that's all that was over here is the magnet stone. The magnet stone helps you pick up money from further away, which is great if you can make money by killing enemies, but we can't. Uh, where to next? Oh, okay, I see where we're supposed to go. I see now. Down. Got a little antsy and left this place too early. There's one more spot we need to go. over here. I think it's down into the left. I think we need to train the water first or get a key or something like that. Yeah, I think it's down here. There it is, the garden key. Now we can go to Whiteleaf Park proper. And get the cat sphere. Fun fact, there was once a point in time where this game was too hard for me to play, even on easy. I just kept dying to, like, basic-ass enemies. I could not figure out how to play this game. Um, with trial and error, I learned how to play this game. graveyard. The world's longest elevator. Hi, bunny. ivory bugs to get more bell flowers oh no she gave us money that time uh do we have enough for another no we do not okay we need to keep an eye out from our ivory bugs that's actually something that would come in handy this playthrough i never thought i'd say the ivory bugs would be useful they're a cute little collectible but you know I usually ignore them, except for the time I went for the achievement and got them all. Down we go. And you, this thing, and you, and drop down. Uh, there's technically something up there, but we can't get to it yet. You need the cat for the double jump. Dull pearl, which we don't need. <clears throat> but now we're getting into boss items. Which 
is perfect. Alright, let's go do the boss fight. You remember Big Titty Zombie Girl? This is Big Titty Zombie Girl Part 2. This fight was a fucking nightmare the first time I played it. Um, like, on insane mode. Because it's just the same boss fight, but faster and harder. Roddy Tops? I am curious who Roddy Tops is. Please tell me more. But yeah, see, now we're having the stage fall off. Which doesn't give you room to dodge. Yes, the hitboxes are indeed her boots. You have to fight her twice by beating the shit out of her boots. She doesn't actually die either. Like, I think in an interview, she's a zombie with big hips. Got it. Um, I think in an interview, uh, Arden said that she is not dead and she might be making a return in the final Momodora game, which is not out yet. I can't wait till it comes out, so that way I can buy it immediately. It's Momodora Moonlight Farewell is what it's called, if, if you're curious and want to look it up. Oh, I've seen her. I mean, I've seen art of her. But look, now we're cat. We are cat. We go meow meow and lick some. Uh, I will not comment on on that. Are you fucking serious? Oh, we got to do that boss fight again. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no, we don't. I just saved. That's right. Never mind. I'm dumb. I forgot there was a save there. But yeah, as a cat, you can fit into small areas. You have most of the same abilities. Uh, the only difference, really, is you can't use magic. Every bug. Oh, and when you get hit, it's it's so much sadder sounding. But now we have the cat sphere, which we need to equip. Now we can go back to human. Although, why the fuck would you want to be a human if you can be a cat? That's my question. All right, so now that we have that, we need to go to... Got the cats... Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. Um, hold on. Let me look at something real quick. Okay, got it. We need to go to... Uh, back to the subterranean group or an item there I, I actually found out today while looking through my achievements because i thought we were getting the last two achievements i needed to 100 percent this game which is the pacifist and the not dying it turns out there's a third achievement i did not have and it's not even a hard achievement it's obtain item give item to npc i just never did it I guess. So we need to go uh, get the item. Grave. That's gonna be up into. The Maybe I'll 100% uh, Minoria on stream and not get through here. Oh, that's right. We need to open up the wind thing with the wind box, which we don't have yet. I love jumping around as the cat. It's so satisfying. All 
All right, the guide I'm looking at hasn't given me an exact location. It just said near a save. Passage near a save bell underwater. Oh, I know where it's talking about. Okay, I know where to go. I had to think about it for a second, but I actually know where it's talking about. I don't think I've ever grabbed this item. Like, I just don't think it's ever been an item I've thought about grabbing. Because I never come back here, because there's no reason to. Maybe I did when I was 100%ing the game, I just didn't know to give it to this one. And here it is. Dirty Shroom. Save the game, and now let's head back. sound great. That just sounded like the cats knocked over a bunch of shit outside. My room, that is. Oh, guess I'll figure out what that mess is after stream. That's right. We can't climb ladder. Oh, actually, you know what? While we're down here, let's grab the uh, ivory bug. Hey, 420. City. Now we head to the left where we started. There is a lot of shit for us to collect now. But most importantly, we need to go give this shroom to an imp girl. Uh, excuse me, mister. Uh, can I get by? Thank you. Save. Oh, we went the wrong way. Silly me. We needed to go right and up through the houses. Not through the cars. Come on. You can climb these stairs. Here we go left and up. Also, I would be the cat the entire time if I could, but there's too many ladders. Goodbye, doggos. Let's get through your dialogue real quick. I don't remember if you give me a thing, but you might give me bellflowers. Down. Ivory bug from over here. No longer 420, now 520. She's gone because she's changed patience. Sorry, right, skilly boy. I got a place to be. Again. I don't think talking to her is important. I'm just used to talking to like every NPC. And then this is where we're supposed to go down with the cat sphere. But we have a different mission. We need to give this imp this dirty shirt. Which sounds awful out of context.
Oh, oh, we can't jump up there. I see, we need to loop around. Got it. That sucks. All right, Imp, stay the fuck away. Little fucking monsters. I'm trying to help one of your friends. Let's go do this stuff then. If we need to head all the way back to start to do the other thing, let's go all the way back. Is it right first? I think so. Look at this butt wiggle. Is this not a 10 out of 10 animation? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle. Oh, this was all for a vitality thing. Ah, what a waste of time. Oh no, what a huge waste of time because getting back is going to be a bitch. All right, we did it. Back, heal. Back again, because you need to be a cat for so much of this fucking area. Like, I'm sure it's just to make sure you have the cat sphere, but still. All right, and we now have our fourth crest. Now we can go to the final area, which, to be fair, is the one that takes, like, the longest, because there's a lot of platforming involved. Warp to... Never mind, we can't warp. We're as far back as the warp will allow. We have to manually walk back. Back to here. Now we can head down. Alright, this is dialogue I've never seen before. I'm excited. This girl. <laughs> I don't want to read this out loud. <laughs> it feels like I'm voice acting for an H game. Oh my god. Oh, is that a dirty shroom? Please give it to me. Thank you, human girl. Here. Take this for your kindness. All right, and there's the achievement. That's all we had to do. You can say snow no all you want. I'm still gonna do it. Sizzle, do, do you want my dirty shroom? Do you want me to give you my dirty shroom? the response I was hoping for. <laughs> God. Or our city. Now we can go to through the totally not Dark Souls inspired wall of light.
Mm. This is gonna spawn a bunch of enemies, but whatever. I can take them on. No sense going down. All that all that's down there is like secret stuff and maybe uh an ivory bug. What's left? Nothing. You are the good merchant. Oh, because, oh, it's 2,000? Oh, this is the item I wanted. <laughs> and it's 2,000 money? Fuck me. Uh, there's no way we're getting that. Oh, I just realized my mouse is on the screen. There we go. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's grab this. I never grabbed this in the other playthrough, but that was because, well, you know, insta-death. But now that that's not an issue and we can get hit a little, let's go. Hit the orb. Yes, there we go. There we go. All right. Now we can swap that out with the black satchel. Which basically makes us more squishy, but we deal more damage. So we start becoming a glass camp which will be nice against the next two bosses. Well, three, technically. There's a third boss we need to kill um, to get the good ending. Uh, is there money up here? I think there is, right? The sealed wind, that's right. That's for, I think, ivory bug completion. Goodbye. Ooh. Almost jumped to my death there. There's no reason to go up. Save. Now we have here. Damn, that took a lot of health. Fuck, I missed the jump. Oh, we were doing so good, too. We're doing so good, and I missed the jump. Okay. Right, will screw me.
That's okay, we just saved. So we can unlock the gate. There we go. And now let's go save. Because there is a good chance we will die at the first boss. Actually, are we going to fight them? Ooh, yeah, no. We have to fight them first. I had to think about the order of the secret boss. But I think the secret boss is right before the final, final boss. Yep, because here's the boss fight. Yeah, yeah, you're pissed at me because I killed Fennel. I understand. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Lupiar or however the fuck you think you say this, is immune to arrows, so... And Magnolia fucking shooting at us from the sky does not help. I'm just glad I can actually take damage. Doing this boss fight without taking a single hit of damage sucked. Okay, please stop hurting Lupier bunny girl. I don't know. Um, she she might be. It's not like bunny girls don't exist in this world. Um, I just don't know that she is, you know? God damn it, keep poisoning me and I can't unpoison my ass. Alright, the poison wore off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know my kind. Blah, blah, blah. Priestess. Blah, blah, blah. Only two bosses left. Gate is open, so we need to bring it down. You know, I think I might just play this until I beat it tonight. Like, we're already so close to beating this game just because I know everything. Or, you know, enough. Here. Hi, cat. Open that up. Save. Come on, come down. Thank you. This is going to be annoying. Uh, hi, hi. Can I get past you with my iframes? <sighs> Without dying? Ah, oh, no. This is where a lot of the reloading is going to be. This last area. It's true. Oh, much platform. Once again, so glad I can uh, reload saves. Uh, there's no reason to go this way. I think it's just a Vitality upgrade. 
Alright, come on down. What? No! Well, yeah, because one hit and I fucking died on insane. With this, I can fucking speed through most of the game. Also, yes, these guys blow up if you get too close to them, but I do not believe that counts as a kill. If it does count as a kill, I will be pissed. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't. We'll find out when we beat the game. Unfortunately. So. Ow. Oh, my foot. That doesn't feel good. So the reason that jump is getting me is even when you get hit, enemies are brick walls. So trying to get just barely past one without killing it or anything is tough. go this way? Probably not. There's like hidden platforms over there. There we go. I fucked it up immediately. Nope, I can't jump out. It's so much easier when you can kill things. It's so much easier when you can just commit murder. Why can't I commit murder? Why did I do this to myself? Definitely a bit for the views. People people seem to like me in pain for some reason. I wonder why. Speaking of being in pain, uh, the painkillers I took forever ago after stabbing my foot, uh, they're wearing off. And my foot hurts like a motherfucker. So, uh, next save slot or next death, I am going to take a beer right back to go take some medicine. Because, ow, my foot. Might be time to change the bandage, too. Fucking hate you. Come on. Yes. No. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Fuck you. Fuck you. There we go. Oh, we made it over. Finally. Oh, cat time. Bitch. I should heal. Who wants to be my personal uh, nurse and, and, and nurse me back to full health? I don't know. I already made Welsey clean up all the blood, so... Okay. I will be right back. I'm gonna go get painkiller and whatnot. So, see y'all in a sec.
I'm back. And let me tell you, walking even without putting any pressure on the foot is fucking... Oh, it's so painful. This shit sucks. Oh. Need to go down first? Oh, wait, no. I don't need to do any of this. This is just a dash. I think the bleeding has stopped, thankfully. Uh, the bandages weren't, like, super bloody or anything. Um, but... Yeah, still sick. No, no, it's not that bad. We are one away from 500. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's so annoying. If it does start getting worse, though, like, I'll definitely go to, you know, uh, Urgent Center. Um, oh, also, uh, the wonderful knight from earlier is now dead. Look, it's a lot more impactful when you have to read all the dialogues. I love her, but, you know. She's dead. Why don't I have the bloody bandage? Do I need to talk to you first? That's bullshit. So I'm I'm planning to do something stupid and special um soon um that I haven't talked about yet but I want to talk about cuz it's not like a secret or anything it's just I want to do this thing um I am going to try and Oh it's not that bad tech don't worry about it um, I'm going to try and get a, uh, uh, an XP VM going, um, specifically so I can run, um, I can try and get Momodora 1 and 2 work. It's not going to be easy. But I really want to get them working so I can play through, even though they're, like, you know. They're very old. They're someone's, like, first game, only made by one person kind of deal. So they're not going to be this fancy and, and flavorful, but it's still one of those things I really want to do. It's time! 
Oh, is it time for the secret boss? Am I busy post? Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Mm, no, no, I don't really have anything going on post stream. Why did you need me for something? All right, time for secret boss time. This is Fennel's sister. No, no, no. Don't become cat. Why did I have that equip? Oh, no. I am fucking up every phase of this boss fight. Oh, yeah. There's a reason she's the secret boss. Her fight is hard. Like, it looked easy when I was doing it on Insane, or it looked not as challenging as the others. Uh, that's just because... I couldn't get hit. Okay, okay. But... <sighs> Damn it. Get fucking rid of your shield bullshit. There it goes. Oh, she's transforming into her second phase. Yeah, like, I would actually argue every boss I'm doing is, um, harder than it normally would be. Like, harder than it was on Insane Mode. Because, like, on Insane, while you couldn't die, you had a shit ton of items. With this, I have two items, technically three. Um, and that's it. My damage is, like, base game damage. Heal. Okay. We're gonna try and do that once more. Passiflora. There we go. We got her that time. Which means now we'll unlock the true ending. What's left now is the final boss. Well, getting to the final boss and then fighting the final boss. And then that's it. We'll have 100% of this game.
which is insanely exciting to think about. That's right, I forgot about this boss. Not that this is a hard boss. It's actually a lot easier now that we can actually get hit because we can just find the real one. This stupid fucking fairy. Basically, you have to wait till she attacks. If there's a white circle around her, it's a clone. If it's a red circle, it's a real enemy. Oh, I want to play Kirby so bad. Someone donate me the money for an HD60, please. I'd love to play it on stream. But unfortunately, that's going to have to raid Natsumi. Uh, no. That makes the game impossible. I'm sorry, friend. Your request will be denied. Hey, Natsumi, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, man, you were playing Sea of Thieves. I always wanted to try that game. Hi, raiders. What do you mean, let you do your job? Um, but welcome, welcome. You are the redeem. Oh, got it. I forgot you can control redeems. Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on. I, I need to focus so I don't die again. We are playing Momodora, Reverie Under the Moonlight. We are specifically doing a pacifistic no death run, which if it looks suicidal, it kind of is. Oh, thank God. Crab game is... F wow. That... That sucks. Hey, if you ever want to collab games like... Damn it. If you ever want to collab games like that, hit me up. I'm always down. That's... Yeah, I can't say I'm surprised either, but I'm disappointed. Uh, do we have to do that boss fight again? Oh, we do have to do that boss fight again. Damn it. Alright, let's fight the stupid fairy. I picked wrong. I don't know why I immediately went to hit instead of waiting to know, but I did. That's on me. Uh, where the fuck is the real one? Hero got getting over it? Oh, man. One day I'll play games like that. I'll have to- I'll have to tune into Shiro's VOD. Cause that sounds amazing. Oh, till we play spoopy games and you get to hear me scream on the top of my lungs. There we go. She's dead. All right. Let's try and not fuck this up so much now. I don't know why I hesitated on that jump. That's on me. That's totally on me. Well, if you guys have any questions about the game, let me know. This is like my favorite game and the only reason we're trying both pacifistic and not dying at the same fucking time like an idiot instead of doing two separate runs is... I'm an idiot and this is my favorite game.
We actually started this game at the start of this stream just about two hours ago, and we're really close to beating it. If you were to just get it and play it, though, with no knowledge, it would take you like 12 hours. There's a lot to do and a lot to explore. I know the first time I played it, it took me a while to beat it. I mean, I actually gave up on it once upon a time. I thought I wasn't going to be able to beat it on easy mode. And now here I am. All right. That was much better. We did not get hit as much that time. As much as I'd love to, like, backtrack to save... Uh, you actually can't backtrack that area. You have to go forward. Oh, thank God the iframe saved us there from insta-death. This sucks. I can't kill any of these fuckers. And they're making Swiss cheese of me. Okay, fucker, can I jump from here? No, I can't. Oh, Hollow Knight's fun. Hollow Knight is such a good game. Oh, thank God. All right, hopefully we're good until the next save area. We are out of healing items. And I don't remember how far away the next bell is. Oh, cool. It's one of these. Thank you. Thank you, game. I forgot about the hell that is this elevator. I remembered, Tech. Oh, thank God. All right. Well, here's the final boss, guys. Um, with the true ending, we got the bad ending when we did our insane mode playthrough, but, uh, since we killed, uh, priestess, anti-priestess choir first, we're going to get the good, the good ending. All right. Here we go. Man, not having heavy arrows fighting this boss is going to suck. Come on, first try. All right, on to phase two. I forgot there was two phases until just now. God, subscribe with Prime. Thank you so much, Dark God. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the Prime sub. Oh, we need to take this off. I forgot how the how the black satchet worked. It was fine until now, but now we need to absolutely take it off. We can't risk more health loss. We're already pretty low. Wow. Uh, thanks, bot. You were late as fuck for that. <laughs> uh. 
bot is indeed slacking. It's not the only bot that's slacking around here. All right, chill here. I don't want to pop the Passiflora because we only have one and it's a full heal. Oh, but I really want to pop the Passiflora because I'm getting nervous. Stay calm. Take it easy. We beat this boss without dying before. We can do it again. Did we beat this boss without dying? We did, right? You know, I think out of all the bosses, she's actually the least fuckable. Hey, we did it! Now you guys get to see the real ending! Imperishable and pacifist got. Yes. What? Failed her mission? I killed the other boss. What are you talking about? Honey? What? Why did I not get the right ending? Did I miss a step? As far as I know, it's just kill that boss. I didn't like reload a. S did I not save? Did I die and not save after killing the boss? Hold on. What? Hold on. Hold on. I didn't do the sealed wind. Fuck. Oh, I forgot to do that. Whoops, sorry guys. No true ending. I mean, you can look it up. This game's super old. But. Uh, yeah, I forgot about the sealed wind and the green leaf. It's been a while since I've gotten the true ending. But with that, this game is officially 100p completed. We have every single achievement in the game. Um, which is insane that we, uh, we literally did that all in two hours. We did it, guys. We did it. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm, like, running off adrenaline now. I, like, don't want to stop streaming because I'm running off adrenaline, but, like, we finished it exactly at my stop time. That is so fucking clean. I could not have, like, predicted that. And technically, according to our save, because of how much we died... It only took us one hour and 24 minutes. Way faster than our six and a half hour playtime of Insane Mode. Well, that is Momodora completely finished. There's nothing left to do. Um, like, that's it. Uh, so next Thursday's game... I'm going to have to figure out because I do not know what it will be. Um, I expected the Momodora stream to take two parts, and it did not. So I got to figure out what it'll be.
It might be Minoria. I gotta see what the missing achievement is. If there's anything left in that game to do. But regardless. With that, I will uh, see you all later. Um, I am streaming tomorrow at 8.30. Doing a collab with Rinny. I'm super excited for that. Uh, that's Eastern time. And hopefully I will see you there. Now to wrap up, we are going to raid Welsie. Uh, she is playing Rune Factory 5, which I'm actually excited to see because I, I've i never seen gameplay of uh, Rune Factory. So I'm actually kind of curious how it looks. But anyways, please send her so much love. All the love. And I love you all. Bye, everyone.